Hello. Uh, this is a little video about my uh, hybrid uh, harmonic drive. Um, what I've done is I've I've, I've changed the uh, encoder on the back. I've actually made my own encoder. I've just made it with uh, four slots, uh, so it's four on, four off. Uh, mo most encoders are, are tailor-made to whatever disk you're using because uh, of the angle between the two um, so it's, which is why you don't usually get AB encoders sold on their own uh, so I've actually made this to suit this encoder um, the original encoder um, was uh, this one uh, it, this, this came with this motor, it was really cheap but basically it has 300 and I think 335 or 353 or something uh, lines on it which is I found, well I found out it was a bit way over the top really um, I, I could only spin the motor uh, uh, by applying on it if, if, if I put more than 8 volts on the motor then uh, the in encoder couldn't keep up with the, the pulses the ticks from the encoder um and because of the um the ratio of the gearing inside here the the mechanical gearing and the uh the ticks from the impulse in, uh the encoder uh, when you totted it all up one one full resolution uh, there was a few million ticks so uh, i think a few million ticks is a bit bit over the top for what i want so that's why I, I changed it from 300, 300 odd ticks to just to, to just for four ticks, and it still works quite fine. Uh, so what I'll do is um, I'll, sh I'll show it on the phone first. Um, there's, there's something I like to show on the phone as well uh, when you're connecting via Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. Hang on, let me just go back a bit. Yeah, right. So I, I couldn't. The, the reason I changed the encoder was I couldn't run this any faster than, than I couldn't apply any more than 8 volts and to get some decent speed out of it and everything I want to run the motor at full whack at 24 volts so I'm just using a little uh, little brick here to uh, to power everything and I'm, I'm powering it from one of these what we got was it it's an L298 uh, if I bring that in there, uh, just 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 one of these, and I'm using the five volt um, regulator on on the actual board to power just this chip. It doesn't power anything else. I'm not using it for anything else because uh, what I'm using is um, um, what is it? An ESP eight two six six for the Wi-Fi, which is uh, three point three volts. So. Um, but this this actual chip uh, needs five volts, so the power supply actually needs to be five five volts. Um, uh, but the uh, the control signal and the uh, uh, other signals, the, the high is on it is uh, registered at two point three volts. So if we stick three volts in there, then it's going to be fine. So it works very well with the. Uh, the ESP um, 8266. I can never remember that number. Right. So, so, th so that. Oh, get rid of that. So, get rid of that. Uh, so that's what I'm driving the motor with. Um, and like I said, I'm using the uh, the the ESP to to control it. So I've got the the Wi-Fi, and I've got the server installed on the the chip as well. And and to power this um, ESP32, uh, no, not 32, uh, uh, whatever, I've forgotten the number. Uh, I'm using just a book to to bring this uh, 24 volts down to the 3 volts, or 3.3 volts needed for this uh, controller. So uh, that's basically them parts. So um, I can show you what I've what web page I've done for the, uh, the to go on the server if I bring my phone in if we unlock the phone um, 
Yeah, so if we go to settings, we go to Wi Fi. Uh, right, so I, I've already got it there. Well, I've already had it connected once, but what I'm going to do is uh, forget uh, that. Have I done the right one? Right. Right, so. Hang on, let's just go back again. Cancel. Right, so. We've got the uh, ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi drive, that's what I've called it in the uh, uh, firmware. Um, I just want to mention something about using it with phones, is that when you actually connect, uh, this is just 1 to 8, oh yeah, and with the ESP8266, when you create in a password, it needs to be at least 8 characters long, so... Basically, this is one is one to eight. If you don't make it at least eight eight characters long when you're modifying it in the firmware, then it, it won't update it uh, unless you've at least eight characters. Just in case people don't know, so we'll connect. So right, there's going to be a message when I connect. There's going to be a message popped up. So if it's, you're doing it for the first time on a phone, you need to connect. Once it's connected, you need to wait on this screen until the message pops up. So I'll just wait there. there. So and as soon as the message pops up, you need to press it straight away. And what it's saying, the message is, that this network has no internet access. So basically what it's saying is, if it's got no internet access, I'm going to disconnect in a minute. And you, we don't want it to do that. We want it to continue controlling my little harmonic drive. So you need to catch this the first time round. And if if you click this box, don't ask again for this network, then it'll never happen again. And then you want to click yes. I want to stay connected. So you, you're going to tell it you want to stay connected to that network, even though it's got no internet access. So now what we can do is we can go back to, down to our web page. That's our web page. Um, and I've done five presets. I could stop it. So if we send it, it's at the moment. It's at zero. Uh, see if we can get to to uh, sort of focus in. And so if we go, we're at zero. If I go at ninety, and I press stop straight away. We can stop it. If I go up to ninety again, we can continue to ninety degrees. And you see, it goes pretty quick. And the other one is one eighty. And it goes straight there to 180. And we've got 270. And we've also got this slider at the side. If I move that right to the top, it's going to take us to 359 degrees. So, uh, and I've also got speed. And, and you can actually alter the speed on the fly. So we take it all the way back now to zero degrees. I can slow it down to half speed. Oh, we can speed it back up again. So three quarter and a half. Hopefully it's going to register the sound change there so you can hear it change. So if we put on full blast again. And then what we've got at the bottom, or if I can get that in shot, well, I'll show you when I do the uh, web page on the uh, the PC. But basically, it, there's, there is some feedback from this little uh, chip, uh, and it'll give you the exact spot it actually did stop, which is 0 0.42 uh, degrees. And if we... Uh, but I've also got... I've got about... I'd say about half a degree slacking there. I mean, it's all a, it's all a dry joint. I'm not using any grease, so um, I've left things a little a little, little slack. But that half a degree is is quite. I'm quite happy with that for what I'm going to make this make this uh, harmonic drive for. So that's the phone. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just just disconnect. Ring settings. Wi-Fi, and we'll put it back on that one. Right, 
So, get that out of the way. Uh, and for... Oh, I forgot to unplug it. Right, uh, and for my Wi-Fi on my uh, computer, uh, in shop, yeah, I just use one of these little plug and play USB Wi-Fi things. Little tiny thing, the great things, I uh, quite like them. Well, I like this one, it works well. It's plug and play and it gives me Wi-Fi on the PC, so I'll just plug it in. There we go. And I'll just get my uh, uh, little taskbar and move it over here. Because it's on my other monitor at the moment and I can only record on this screen. So with that plugged in, uh, I have now got Wi-Fi on my PC. Uh, on my PC, which So we've got it here again. So I'll just connect. This tends to go on forever, but once you're connected, uh, you can obviously bring it up. Uh, I'll just refresh that, make sure I'm connected. And um, we can do exactly the same on the PC. We have the speed change, so if we go, well, where are we? Nine. So if we go 90, we can cha see it change. Uh, let's just go all the way around. And then we can alter the speed. And you see at the bottom, every second that it updates the uh, position and it tells us exactly where we are. So I'll just put it on to full blast and I'll go back to zero. Slight bit of lag there. Uh, so, yeah, so for the, the image, uh, which it stops. It's fairly noisy. I hope it isn't too noisy on the uh, upload. So there we go. Right, so we've got that. And. Oh, I've put it over here, didn't I? Right, I'm just going to move this again. Right, uh, yeah, so. Um, what I've done is for the for the web page on the um, where are we? Yeah, for the for the web page, um, I've actually used a an image which I have uh, installed onto the ESP. I'm just going to call it ESP because I keep forgetting the numbers. Um, yeah, so for that we actually need. Um, need um oh there we go we, we need the the, the fs header um and also for the web page i've, I've created the, the web page on its separate uh, as a separate file uh, the reason for this is because if we look at the web page um i've saved this as a an actual uh, constant car character html page there so and having it on a separate page it enables me to use uh, some other editing software uh, to actually uh, do the web page. Uh, I use uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio and it, it'll read it even though I haven't commented uh, this, this lot out basically it'll still, as long as I've got the HTML uh, starting it, it'll translate it and I get an idea of the, the picture. Basically all this is just a, a table and then Everything's linked to uh, some uh, uh, JavaScript. So uh, it's, it's, I've written all this in Java um, and I'll go through it more uh, when I come to do uh, an instructable to show you how to make it. Um, and I'll do the same for the uh, for the server side of things. For the ser server side of things, I've kept it to uh, uh, quite uh, simple. I'm just using the ESP8266 Wi-Fi and the ESP8266 web server. Uh, with the ESP8266 uh, um, you can actually, if you, if you look in your tools and you've got your flash size, 
you can actually set across uh, uh, set aside uh, some SPI file uh, flash file system memory. So you, at the moment, I, I've configured it to have two two megabytes of uh, of a file system. It's, it's basically set aside for putting just be, uh, fa normal files. Uh, I just the um, this image here is just a, a, a JPEG, uh, not a JPEG. Uh, is it? Well, it's just an image file anyway. And I'm, you're able to, with uh, um, with the Ad Arduino IDE, you're, you're actually able to uh, upload sketch data to that, uh, that part of Flash. And then you can actually read that that image. So basically I've just defined my image as you saw you can there it is. It's a ping file basically. So it's a front view and I've, I've made it. What I suggest is when you're making a picture is you make it the actual size you want on the, the, the screen. Um, so if, you, if you're making it big and shrinking it down on the screen you're just taking up too much memory. Uh, but hope to show you how to do that as well. So then you can just call it. So basically all you do is when your web server starts and someone logs onto the page, it'll ask uh, basically, um, where are we? Yeah, so when, the, when it asks, when the web page asks for the uh, front view image, you just send it to a function where you can actually tell it where it is. So, so basically uh, just handle the front view, view images is just a function. And so that'll be somewhere up here, somewhere. Um, and yeah, let's. Oh, th there we go. Down, 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 down. Handle front view image. So then all you you would do is you. So if the uh, the SPI, I can never get this right. SPI. Uh, flash file system is active then you can get the, 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 the image file and it's just the image it's an image and it's a ping basically you just tell it where it is uh, that's this bit here and it goes to um, whatever I did what I told it to in 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 here no, no, that's it there so that that's that image file uh right so uh, that's that and uh, i think i've about covered everything uh i think the last bit was a bit boring uh but uh, hopefully you made it to the end and uh, i intend to do uh, an instructable uh, to show you how to actually put it all together thank you for watching